Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans. And over the past couple of weeks, you may have seen some of our reviews on certain Android phones or certain iPhones. And if you have, then it might have made you think about actually changing your phone up from maybe an Android to an iPhone. If that's the case and you want to keep your data and transfer it over from one phone to another, then in this video, we will teach you how to do it. In this video, we will go through three different ways to transfer your data from an Android phone to an iPhone. So method one would be to do that transfer using mobile trans. The second method will be moving your data from an Android to an iPhone using an app called Share It. And then the third and final method will be to transfer your data from an Android to an iPhone using Send Anywhere. So let's talk about the first method. And this first method is really quick, it's reliable, it's efficient, and it is to use mobile trans. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and download, install, and open that mobile trans software. And once you have done that, then just click open and click that phone transfer option. You then need to connect both the phones that you want to use to your computer. So you need to connect the phone first of all, of which you want to have the data transferred to. And then you also need to connect the phone that has the data on it so it can actually transfer it. You may need to grant the computer some permission to the phone. Just go ahead and do that. And then check inside that phone transfer option on mobile trans that the destination and the source phones are in the right place. If they're not, you can just flip it to make sure that they are. The final step and step three is to then just click start transfer. And once you've done this, all the data from the Android phone will then transfer to the iPhone or vice versa. It might just take a couple of minutes, but bear with it and then it will be completed. Okay, method two is to use the the app called Share It. Share It allows you to move wirelessly data from one phone to another and it could come in really handy. It's compatible with loads of different devices, so Android, iOS, and even Windows Phone, and it doesn't require any mobile data to move that data from one device to another. You can actually use this app to move apps themselves. You can use it to transfer music, photos, and videos. And in this part of the video, what we'll do is actually show you how to be able to move some videos from one phone to another using that Share It app. The first thing you need to do is install the app on both Android and iPhone and then open up the Share It app. On an Android, your data will be in different places. So go to that file manager, tap on Share, and then click on Videos. Step two is just to choose that video and then hit Send again. On the iPhone, then hit Receive, and then over on the Android phone, click that little avatar of the iPhone, and then that will start the process of sending that data from one phone to another. When the process is complete, you can then enjoy that file on your phone. And you can do this either way, from either an Android phone to an iPhone, or vice versa to send, like we said, pictures, apps and videos all over and not use any mobile data. So for method three, there are loads of online websites and online apps that allow you to transfer your photos, music, videos, contacts, whatever you wanna send with other people. But if you need to send other types of files, then Send It Anywhere is something that we can really recommend. Send Anywhere is software that is available for Android, iOS, and Windows and works as a Chrome extension. If you've got a BlackBerry phone as well, there's also a web version of this that works just as nicely. To send and receive data using this method, then all you need to do is follow the steps that I'm gonna mention in the next part of the video. Step one is to download and install that Send Anywhere app on both of your devices. Step two is to copy or move files from the Send menu files list to another folder. Step three is to select the files to move or copy. Step four, Go to the list edit menu and copy in the lower right corner. Select the destination folder, which will then copy your file into that folder. There we go, three more steps to help you move some of your data from one phone to another. And if you're thinking about getting a new phone, then why not let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss any other future videos. And thank you very much for watching. And until next time, see you later.